today is Pi Day to two decimal places. Um, and I'm going to talk about Raspberry Pi, um, particularly the Raspberry Pi Zero, um, which I have in a little box. Um, old people will remember, recognize this logo as the DEC PDP logo. For me, this is the pocket DEC pretender because I'm emulating a whole variety of very old DEC mainframes many times faster in a thing I can put in my pocket. Um, also, it's purely powered by USB and it acts as a network across the USB. Um, the Raspberry Pi Zero is interesting in that you can turn it into a USB gadget. It doesn't, it's not a USB host. You can make it appear as a USB thing to another computer, which means you can use it for USB storage. I haven't looked into any, any great detail, but potentially you could do some rather clever encryption things with the storage that you have in the Raspberry Pi because you've got an ARM processor. Potentially, I could be totally wrong on that. Um, you can also uh, USB boot as a network. That doesn't work very well. Um, people at the Raspberry Pi Foundation can kind of get it working, but most mere mortals can't. Um, but what I use it for is it is a thing called an ARNDIS device. It basically turns up as a, you plug it in the USB, it boots up, and it turns up as something you net SH into, and it's a little machine hanging off your, your uh, main computer. Um, I'm not going to go into the technical details of the setup because there is a kid in Northern Ireland who has this ridiculously complete uh, uh, tutorial. If you look on the web, GBA man, he has a gist on Git, GitHub, follow it, it works. And you can do it from any computer because you're only ever working from a fat um, partition on an SD card. And so it's, the setup is really easy. What I'd like to spend the next maybe two minutes, because I don't want to spend any longer, um, is that while his process works, it doesn't have some things that you might find out have a problem. Um, I sometimes find that I have to, if I'm connecting this to a Linux box, I need to supply power as well as a USB connector because um, Linux will query the network far too quickly for this thing to have booted up and then it will go into a huff and the two will not talk to one another. So you have to apply power first, let the thing boot up, plug it in, it will talk, and if you're feeling really clever, you can ease the power connector out. <laughs> and it almost never crashes. Um, the other thing is uh, these devices uh, assign their MAC addresses randomly. You don't want that, because when you plug it into a machine, you want it to say, oh, hi, it's the same machine again. Um, you can change a setting in uh, to say that you've always got a constant MAC address. Um, it's not that difficult. You just kind of have to remember to do it, and so it will keep doing it. The other thing is when you are connecting this to another computer, obviously you would want this little machine to connect to access your internet connection. You have to remember to share that um, from your host computer. Um, it's usually a little bit fiddling around, but it's, it's not too hard. And once you've got it set up, it'll keep going. Um, one of the things that uh, Hugh pointed out, that the new one of these has uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So potentially it could be a way of multiplexing uh, screens from uh, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. I haven't tried it yet because I don't have any of the Bluetooth ones. Um, I do have a few spare of the plain Raspberry Pi Zero if anybody wants one. Yes, Scott, thank you for showing off. Um, but that's really all I'm talking about. Um, yes, I am pretending to be a PDP-8 with this thing and it's a, a lot of fun for that's not a mainframe. Okay, PDP-11. You can actually do a um, PDP-10 as well if you really want like mainframe big thing. If you really, they consume a lot of power. I don't care if them. It's in a frame. It's a main thing. It's a mainframe. It's plugged into the mains. Shut it. Um, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Any questions? Um. I got these in the States for $5 US each. Was that the purchase of a mainframe? Nope. That was, you could buy one a day. Scott? Um, the mainframe integrates the wireless one with Tantrum. They seem to still have stock in the 1350 uh, enterprise. Plus. For wireless. How much shipping, though? <laughs> With a 
Pace. Yeah, but it's like, you know, for us. Uh, so <laughs> All right. Yeah, we do. So thank you very much. Yeah.